Hey everybody, welcome back. Something that I put a blurb up for earlier and talking about it now, and that is the further draconian restrictions going on in Australia that went into effect Monday, that is yesterday for Australia. Uh, Monday is today here, but it's the 15th in Australia. So the government, and this is from uh, MYSA, which I guess is Myself Australia, and I'm gonna show you right off of the sa.gov.au website. So the official government website is where these images and everything are coming from. The first two are a couple of blurbs that were sent to me and the rest of it comes off the website and I'm gonna show you what's going on here because basically they've got it so that everyone in the country is required now to or if and if it isn't completely this way yet, I apologize, but they're making it sound like this is totally mandatory. Required to use their phone, an app on their phone, as effectively a digital passport to buy and sell. And, you know, that's very, very reminiscent of Cold War era. Show me your papers, please, if you will. From Monday, you must use C virus safe check-ins and I'll remind you I say C virus instead of the actual word because I've gotten in trouble for saying it. Supermarkets, department stores, hardware stores, general retail stores download the My SA Gov app and we go on here this is the additional blurb important update to C virus safe check-in for Monday 14th December retail stores will be required to keep a record of everyone who enters their stores, staff, and customers. This includes supermarkets, department stores, hardware stores, and general retail stores. Stores must display a QR code and people are required to check in upon entry. So how do you stay C-Virus safe? Check-in is quick and easy to use. Download the My SA Gov app, select the C-Virus safe check-in title, follow the prompts to scan the QR code upon entry and check in. And then they hit, I, I hate when people use emojis, especially if it's the government. These have been, there have been over 5 million check-ins to businesses, venues, and events over the past two weeks. Smiley face, thank you, SA, for embracing C-Virus safe check-in and helping to keep our community C-Virus safe. And you all know how I feel about that. And actually, uh, I'm gonna be doing another mailbag answering a few points about that because somebody made some accusations in the comments about how hospitals are overrun and that's just not true. That, again, I don't know anybody who has this or anyone who knows anyone who's had this. I know someone who knows someone who says that their um, elderly father's brother who's in a nursing home died recently and they told him that it's the C virus and the family's fighting it because the hospital will not verify it. They just put it on their record. That's as close as I've got. This is ridiculous. Now this is off the government's website directly. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. What is my SA gov? And it says is a new online account and app which will provide single account access for Southern Australian government services. Now keep in mind I say all of Australia when I'm talking here but Southern Australia pretty much is all of Australia. It's a huge country very sparsely populated and almost everybody's in the south anyway. So this is pretty much everyone. The MySA Gov account enables South Australians to access personal information and complete transactions for their vehicle registration and license. This includes checking demerit points, completing medical self-assessments, and setting up direct debit. The MySA Gov app enables South Australian license holders to digitize selected government issued passes and licenses and store this information on their Apple or Android device. To log into the app, you must have blah blah account. What digital passes and licenses are available on the app? At present, the app offers driver's license, proof of age, real estate registrations for land agents, sales representatives and property managers, occupational licenses for builders, tradespeople, security and investigation agents, recreational boat licenses. Using the app, when you arrive at a venue, simply tap on the C-Virus Safe check-in button at the bottom of the home screen and scan the unique QR code displayed at the venue. No login required. 
You don't need to create a MySA Gov account or log in to use this feature. Just tap on the button at the bottom of the screen to activate the scanning feature. First time use, first time you use the C-Virus safe check-in, you'll be asked to enter your name and mobile number. You'll then receive a text message with a unique code to enter into the app. This is to verify your phone number. You only have to do this once. Now here is the restrictions. This is what's been added to this. From 14 December, all general retail industry premises must have a completed C-Virus safe plan and have an approved contact tracing system enabled. All people entering the place must upload their relevant contact details to the approved contact tracing system. This upload is automatic when you use the C-Virus safe check-in to scan the QR code. A defined public activity is any of the following, and here it comes. On-site purchase and consumption of food or beverages, whether occurring in an indoor or outdoor area. Sport, including sports training, fitness, or recreational activities. Indoor public meetings, ceremonies, private functions, provision of personal care services, provision of public entertainment, provision of recreational transport, the operation of a nightclub, the operation of relevant licensed premises, the operation of a casino or gaming area within the meaning of the Gaming Machines Act of 1992, auctions and inspections of premises for the purpose of sale or rent of any property, driver instruction, an assembly within the meaning of the Public Assemblies Act of 1972, the provision of health care, residential care, disability, support, or aged care services. A general retail industry premises is a place where retail sale or hire of goods or services for personal, household, or business use occurs and where customers are physically present. This includes supermarkets, department stores, hardware stores, and general retail. Basically, everybody, everywhere. Anywhere that you go, you're going to school, you're getting on the bus, you're, uh, you're going to the nail salon, you're going to church, you're going to watch your kid train at his track meet. They want you to scan yourself into that place and then scan yourself out so they can track directly where you're going and who you're in direct contact and direct proximity to. That is some scary shit. I'm sorry. That's too much. That is an overreach of government. And it pains me to see this uh, happening to Australia. I was in Australia in the 80s. They were tough people. Not anymore. Guys, where's your fight? Where's your fight gone? You don't even try. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bust on you, Australia. But what happened? What happened to you, Australia? What happened in the UK? You know what the whole uh, punk scene was about? It wasn't about music. It was about rebellion against overbearing government. What happened to them? What happened to Ireland? What happened to Scotland? What happened to all of these countries? What's happening to the United States? Everybody's just going belly up. They, they just accept it. Um, whatever it takes. There's all these people that are really bought into this and they have this whatever it takes attitude. And they love that because they think whatever it takes means everyone else. And it never occurs to them that it's going to fall back on them. It doesn't occur to the people who agree to do this how much that can be used against them, how much that can be used to control them, how much they're already under control if Australia can just do that. If they can just go ahead and do that. And a lot of people think there's a big global conspiracy, and it could be. And it could also be, it doesn't have to be a global conspiracy, it could be that because one government got away with it, another government stepped up and said, hey, look what they got away with their people. I bet you we could do the same crap and better because government is about what it's about controlling their population as much as possible and this has allowed for them to be able to push everybody really really hard and the people they just buckled they said jump and no one said how high they were already up in the air and the few people that are willing to speak up, because I guarantee you most people they're not bought in but they're afraid to voice their opinion they're afraid to speak up and say, you know what, this isn't right. Your statistics don't make any sense. I'm not seeing what you're telling me here. I mean, you're making it sound like the Red Cross is out in the yard burning bodies. It's not happening. It just isn't. The hospitals, they're not at capacity. Which, I, like I said, I'm going to be doing here very shortly another uh, mailbag. And I'm going to address that comment and prove that they're not. <laughs> okay? Because guess what? Um capacity of beds in hospitals is a matter of public record. All you have to do is look it up. 
<laughs> which I did. And guess what? They're not at capacity, not even close. So what the hell? I mean, who else, who's next? Because uh, you know that um, governments, especially the U.S., they love pointing at other countries and saying, see, see how great it is over there? And it's not great. It sounds great in the media because that's their job. But if you talk to the actual people who live in those countries, man, they hate it. They hate the restrictions. They hate being controlled by the government. They hate being pushed around. They don't fight back. They don't fight, but they hate it. They don't like their health care system. <laughs> they don't like their taxes. They don't like all of the restrictions of the government. They don't like having their freedoms taken away. They don't like not having access to firearms or whatever. It's, it's insane. But the media will tell you otherwise, and simple-minded people will believe it without investigating at all, without talking to anybody. That's a lot to absorb. But there's a lot going on here. It's not good. It's dangerous. It sets a very dangerous precedence for other countries to try to follow for something that, honestly, we don't know how serious it is or not. Not saying there's no such thing as a C virus. And again, I'll remind you, I can't say the actual word. I've been warned by uh, ScrewTube not to say it. And I, I demonstrated that in a previous video. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because it is hard to stand up. It is hard to fight back. Because we're in a position now in the electronic age where they can literally take everything from us. They can take your entire life away with the push of a button. You get a lawmaker to sign his name on something or her name on something, and your whole life is gone. Some some dweeb does this, and you don't exist. And there, I'm sure there's a lot of people that say, yeah, make me not exist. Well, you won't feel that way when your bank account is gone, when you get your paycheck and it says zero. When the sheriff comes knocking on your door, you won't think, oh, yeah, make me disappear. Okay, it's not that simple. And they've done a great job. All these countries have done a great job of dividing their people up in the United States. Um, it looks like, at least it looks like in the media. Again, you don't know for sure because you can never trust the numbers. You can never trust the, the statistics that they give you. It looks like we're at each other's throats. But, you know, you need to try to band together more now than ever. Everywhere. And I'd love to see Australia... Uh, try to fight this back but they haven't really fought anything back for decades so the government just keeps passing new regulations just keep walking all over the people and the people let them do it and you see it everywhere and you're seeing it seeing it in the united states as well any thoughts on this and i'll, I'll, remind, I'll remind you don't think that it can't happen here or any in any other country it can it can and very likely eventually will any thoughts, feel free to post it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all the good stuff. Please check out some of the other videos if you have not. Hopefully you find something interesting. Again, share, probably the only way this will get seen because I get pretty much held back quite a bit by the artificial intelligence system of ScrewTube. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and I sure do appreciate it. And what more can I say but... Thanks for watching and stay tuned because there is more to come.